Hello there, and welcome back to another video on generative uh, AI art. And in this video, I'm going to address in painting, and in particular, I'm going to use automatic 1111. So I move among three different tools. So I use focus, focus to generate images out of the box. Then for more complicated scenes, I want more control. I use automatic 1111, and then I use Comfy UI for uh, some features that are not available in the other tools, no focus or or automatic 11.11. So usually I use a Comfy UI for SDXL Turbo, LCN, Lora, and some other you know, experimental features. In this case, I'm going to focus in automatic 11.11 because I think it is the tool that I have more control when it comes to in painting, but have in mind that you can use any of the other tools. So in painting, it just consists in masking a region of your composition, your figure. It can be uh, image generated with uh, using AI, or it can be an actual photo. It doesn't matter. But I have to say, do not expect mir uh, miracles because it's very difficult. Okay, but I hope to give you some guidelines, different approaches how to do things. Uh, important that with this uh, in painting, you can do you no know, object removal. You can change your uh, composition and stuff like photo restoration. You can even remove the background is the same concept you can remove text watermarks or you can extend your composition or those infinite images you no know, out which is out painting it's the same concept and that being said also you have to be aware that you need to use uh specific models okay it, it is optional but it's st strongly recommended to to use those specific models so that being said let me show you <clears throat> Let me show you here in the screen. Usually to look for those models, uh, we have marketplaces. So the best one probably is Civic AI. I already mentioned that. But in Civic AI, just go and look for in paint and you're going to, to have a whole bunch of in paint models. Probably you're not going to have the complete list here, but then you look for specific models and you will see that you will have a checkpoint for <clears throat> for, for, for in paint. So for instance, let me see dream shaper so i think this dream shaper will have an in pain model and so on so just look for in pain and you will have a lot of information also another good marketplace it is uh hugging face so you have a few uh, in paint model. So here, usually you're going to to find the base model. So the one uh, SD one point five, SD two, and SDXL. And starting from those models, you can create your own in paint model. So the, the idea of having this in paint model is just to control uh, how you mix, you know, the mask area with the rest of your composition. So uh, it is strongly recommended to to use those models. Uh, also, there is another tool that we're going to use with Automatic 11.11, which I think it is the best in painting tool. It's something based in segment anything. So this is a fantastic tool from, from the guys from Meta. So it's open source and I use a lot this tool, but I use it for something completely different you now from in painting. But then when I found this tool, which is called in paint anything, I really, uh, I immediately, I think, okay, that have to be my, uh, a great tool. It have to work great because this tool by itself is fantastic. So the idea of segmenting anything is that you take your images, it will do the segmentation, it will do a perfect masking. And then there are some extra models you now to make your life easier. So we're going to, to go through, uh, through that. Also, a control net have an in-paint model. I'm not very satisfied for, for, for uh, with that model because I think segment anything will do it. Everything but with the base model of a stable, you compare the base model of a stable diffusion and with control net, it might be a little bit better control net. In any case, let's now move to to con uh, to uh, in-painting in uh, automatic 11.11. Okay, so let's move now to Automatic 11.11 to do some in painting. And I really hope that you are familiar with the user interface. I'm not going into details, but what is important that we're going to use a few extensions. So here you have this tab to so go to the extensions and we're going to use this one in paint anything. Okay, so as you come here, 
you can look for that to uh, load and then just look for in paint in my case i don't see it let me see install okay so basically you're going to install this segment anything and in pen in pen anything so already install those tools so just click there and you install another tool that i recommend you to install is canva soon okay this one can be very helpful when uh, working with your canvas to do the the masking so you have canvas soon and pan and canvas soon i recommend you to install told those two utilities so this is our user interface and maybe you're going to see it's going to be a little bit different from what you have because i have some other extensions so but we are going to stay in the basic with which it is in painting so remember that uh, we need to select the models and the models they have been trained with different dimensions so be careful that when you select a model use the right dimension so i know the is the excel models uh they have been trained with a thousand twenty four so you should put here a thousand twenty four or or an aspect rate to around that one to get good results. If you use 512, you're going to get strength results. And the models 1.5 have been trained with this. Same applies with in paint models because we're going to use in painting. And sometimes this is optional. It's recommended to use those in painting models. So have that in mind. So we're going to work with this with these images. The first tutorial I want to do is this one just to introduce all the options. So we have this one. This was generated using a uh, uh, stable diffusion but you can use it also with real images here we have real images so we're going to see some in painting there so the first thing is let's say that you have this uh, tab here that is very helpful I really like and in the image if the image that that you have you have the metadata there you can use that metadata to reproduce the results so I'm going to share this image so let me send this here be careful to select also your model so we're using the, here for this case we use this model and let's generate this image to mention something that also the generation in my case it will be a little bit slow because I am also recording so the record application is this sharing resources but let's generate this image and let's see what happens also recommend you to to take a look at your prone your terminal to see you now all the information sometimes you will realize that you can have some errors stuff like this that sometimes have warnings and so on and also sometimes when you use new models uh automatic 11 11 or whatever uh, user interface you use it will download everything so you would like to know what is downloading and where is located that file that model because they do have the tendency to be big files so it's better to know that where are those files and what it is then loving the the user interface okay so here we have our starting image okay so there is not much to do here we generated our, our image and then later is the one you can play with all this auction sampling i'm not going into details i already mentioned i think about this batch and batch size this is important because they look like they are the same but actually they are the same because they 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 add more images now, but this one works is serial. It will serialize everything. So as you put here four, it's going to generate four images in serial. Okay, sequentially. Image one, image two, image three, sequentially. As you put here four, it's going to generate four images. Okay, the same four images, but now here it's going to do it in parallel. So if you don't have enough memory, okay likely you're going to run out of memory or it's going to be very slow so i in my case i have eight gigs so in my case here batch size two is i think it is the limit so be careful about that so all the generations are going to do it you do it just one and if i need to do several files it will be sequentially okay be careful about that the other thing that i want to mention also let me go and this create here that I used to launch. Okay, I talk about this during the installation, which will be this one. I added this entry. Okay, in my case now because this used the GPU, use a lot of memory. So if you have less than eight gigs of memory, it's better to add this one. And actually, if you have four gigs of memory, this will be painfully slow. So be aware of that. But it's, have in mind that AOS. Uh, at this one and you may it might get some improvement that being said let's move into in paintings okay so as i mentioned in painting is just selecting also some masking some region in your composition and adding removing changing something so we have this image okay and let me go and if i click here 
Look at that, it will send everything to the in paint tab. And here we have, okay, so we have your in paint tab, you have some options that let me address here this auction. So the most important thing is that you need to mask a region. So you do whatever you want, okay, so here you have the pencil, the brush, okay, you can change the color. So this, maybe you don't have it. If you don't have it, it's because you are missing those extensions that I missed, mentioned at the, at the beginning, okay, also here. So it's that soon, canvas soon and so on. So let's say that, let me select here a region and you can make a larger brush. So it's up to you. So let me select this region here. Let me go up like this. And the idea here is that I would like to add kind of a party hat here. Okay, so I do this selection. You have your masking, you are happy with that. And there is a lot when it comes to masking later in some other tutorials, we're going to see different examples. So you select everything and now you can, this mask, uh, this process is driven, can be driven by your prompt or you can use control N and stuff like that, but usually it's driven by the prompt. And let's say that I want a party ad. You put it there, you select it, and I will use the default option. So I'm not going to change everything. I'm going to use also the same model that I used to generate the image. And let's click generate. So remember, sometimes when you use use new new applications, tools, uh, always look at here because it might download some libraries. So in this case, I already download everything, but it might be in your case that it will download something. So here we select and it's doing the the, the new composition and see that is adding there the party hat. So, so far, so cool. And see that is quite easy. Okay. Or it looks quite easy, but oh, do not expect miracle miracles. A lot of people wants to change everything and get super perfect composition. It, it can be uh, really tricky and also it can use a lot of uh, uh, resources. So while we wait here for the final figure that is almost done, uh, to talk about these options here, so basically when you are doing your composition with resize crop. So usually I use this one, just resize. Later we're going to talk about this blur. It's here, mass mode, you can paint just this region or you can say select to the other to paint the negative. Okay, so it's up to you. Then this is very important, no in paint area. You can in paint using the whole picture. Doesn't mean that it's going to paint the whole picture. The painting is this one, but it's going to use the image of the whole picture to get your composition. No? So sometimes you can have very complex no, images, so it will try to get the background and everything and do a, a nice transition. Instead, you can use the auction only the mask region, okay? And it will only take whatever you have here. So when you enable this mask, region you can you will have this option enable padding so the padding or the pixels now it's going to increase the region to train to take more information of the of your image in order to do a nice you no know, blending between the mass region and the original image that is what is happening you can play with that and then you have this mass content i recommend you to use original so here you have the tool tip so as you put your pointer there, you get some messages. So these ones you use it usually when you want something completely different. So you go into the latent space or who you have complex you no know, <clears throat> modification like in faces. Usually in faces you put it there. Most of the time original is okay. So these are the default options that always I use like this. And look at that we have here a cool nice result. But it's important that in this auction using the whole picture, you need to use the same dif dimension of the image. So be careful about that. Instead, if you use only mask, okay, this here, you will need to change this to the dimension of the model. So here I'm using this model, but you might use another model that is used was trained with smaller images like the 1.5. So you will need to change that or is you use in painted model. So let's use an in painted model because we're using the standard model. It work. Okay. So something important that it might work and sometimes it might not, work, might not work. So I recommend you to go for the in painted models. So it tends to be more robust. Okay. So the idea of those in painting models already mentioned, but it's just to control not the composition, the transition, not the diffusion of these images. Okay, so you have been specifically trained to give better results. So I'm using that model and let me go and use whole picture as the previous one and let's generate and let's see what we have now with the new model here.
Okay, so this is what we have. Okay, it was some, a very nice uh, solution there, a new image. So this is requires, this is not, it doesn't mean that it, this is what you have. Remember that you have this sick number, so you need to change sit, sits and so on. But likely here, the problem might be that this model, it would be better to reduce. And let me see what happens if I go here and I put 512 there. Okay, so 512 didn't improve much the results there. Let's see, only mask region. Okay, and maybe also I need to increase my denoising. Remember, this is the level of fantasy. I'd like to go to 0 0.95. And let's see what happens with this new parameter. So this is what I mentioned that uh, do not expect miracles. It can be really tricky to control. So let's see that now we have a much better result. Okay is still okay we can do much better so this is now something that controlling all these options here i think it was more important now the the noise the noise in a strain so let me go whole picture here so to see the difference so this is not very nice here or probably not it is putting this let's see what happened now okay so this is the whole picture it's not a nice result okay if here you saw the whole picture we need to use the same dimension of us in the picture. So we change that value and let's see if this improve. Okay, so now we have a better uh, party hat there. So as you see here, it can be very tricky, just changing parameters. The important thing is that try to use uh, the same, if you're using whole picture, use the same dimensions as the picture. Okay, it, that tends to be, you know, the, the rule, but sometimes you might need to reduce that dimension because your model is going to give you tricks and be careful also of the model. Okay, uh, what is the dimension and so on? And each model is going to give you different results. So when it comes to painting, I think this one, Dream Shaper, Okay, it's a nice model. Okay, it is a mix between a base model, in painting base models, and Dream Shaper. By the way, you can create your in painting models using this check checkpoint merger. Okay, so kind of you get your base model, the in painting, then the other model that you want to mix, and then you get if you want a third one, then you add some weight, and you get that painting model. I don't do it because this requires a lot of memory, so eight gigs is not enough. But you can look in the internet to see. How does it work? So now we have, I changed the model and let's see what we get with uh, Dream Shaper, which tends to be much better model. So you get the idea that it's just selecting and then uh, guiding everything with a prompt, not necessarily. Sometimes you can leave an empty prompt just to remove objects. Not always works, but it can be tricky. And here we have, so since much nicer there, Okay, we have our final image. I mentioned that sometimes in my case, it's going to be a little bit slow because I'm recording, so in general resources. So see that you have that. It's a little bit, uh, you can see that clearly that it's not very realistic, but you use better models, you can get there. So you can use an actual full model. So let's see what we get if we use the full uh, Dream Shaper model. Where do I have that Dream Shaper? Ground diffusion, and I think I don't have it here. Yeah, but let me go and use, for instance, night vision. Well, playground might might be a good one in this case. And at this point, I might buy play with this option, the default that I'm giving you. Most of the time, they work. Okay. Uh, also, mention about when you change models in automatic 11, 11. I'd recommend you before clicking somewhere or changing something, I'd recommend you to wait until the model is fully loaded because sometimes can give you some weird errors, you know, some memory errors. So wait for that to, to load the whole model. So now let's use this one and let's see what we get here. So now it's a full model that we're using. Okay. It's not a, a specialized in painting model. And let's see the results. So doesn't seem to be a nice result. So basically, okay, no, actually. So in this case, we were whole picture and everything. Okay, so yeah, it looks 
quite nice result. So at this point, it's to play with this. Do not expect miracles, I stress that. And now that we have the basic of in painting, let's move for a little bit more complex. And so let's say that I want to, rem to remove or change a color now. So changing, so let's take a look here. So quite nice now. Okay, still you can see that it's something artificial, but you have it there. So let's work here. Let me raise that mask. And let's say that I want to change the color of the eyes. So basically, let me zoom here. I can do zoom there, by the way, because I have that extension. And let me select the eyes. And you select it, then let's say, and you drive that, you guide that with the prong, green eyes. Let's put green eyes. Let's go back to the base model, or you can use your in paint model. So in this case, as it's a small, it's a small modification using your base model, the standard model is okay. And here also, a small modifications only mask personal experience. Again, it works okay. This mask, no, it's just to have a nice transition. So let's see the influence in this case there. And this is okay. So let me generate. And we're just in painting the eyes. I want to change the colors. You can do the same with the hair. That will be way much trickier. Okay, changing the color. So in this case, it's quite difficult. Later, we have I have another case that might be much easier. But yeah, in theory, you can do it, but it can be very tricky. So there you go. The you select the region and the green green eyes there. So look at that when you are generating the image you you see your latent space how it's evolving that you have kind of a noise no kind of a pixelation this mask blur it is something similar so you have your denoise that is very important so i recommend you to put large values there but it's up to you but usually adding new objects or changing colors like this it's a good idea to put a large value but it would be up to you but now this one will have, no, this is the most important one and has precedence, let's say, all over this one. Mass blur, it will blur the image, okay? And according to that blur, it's going to take some composition of the image. So if you use a low value, kind of, okay, let's see here, kind of, yeah, acceptable, it could be better, but there you see. So you will create kind of, you now as you put a value of zero, so in this case, probably this is not the best case to see how it works. I think I will show it better with another case. If you put zero, you kind of, you have large tiles, and if you put 64, you will have very small tiles, very small pixels. So usually if you put in a small, a very large value, you're going to capture the mask. So you are not going to get good results. So you get better results with lower values, but don't, do not put zero. So usually I think the default value is eight or six. For me, it's eight. I usually use eight, but this is a value that you can play with and it will have an strong influence, by the way. So sometimes when adding objects, probably 16 is better. So in this case, when I put the party hats, you, you can do it, redo it and see the influence. But for me, I stay in eight. So look at that, we added there and it changed and let's say that now i want to remove something that that is the tricky part so remember in painting the similar concept like removing background or out painting all that stuff we use similar steps but to guide that it, it can be tricky so let's say that i want to remove this ear here this is not easy using all the standard model like this so usually here is you put the anti prone Sometimes it might work, sometimes it might not work. So, but in this case, I can say like empty wall. So this selection put an empty wall and what is important, this mask, look at that in the mask, I also capture in some part of the wall, okay? I did it in purpose. Okay, sometimes one have the tendency to capture just the ear and that might be okay in some situations. In this situation, it's very like this because when you capture the wall, you are getting the context. It's going to get the color and it's going to do a better interpolations. Okay. So have that in mind. And some other cases, we're going to see that better, but pretty much depends in the, in the application. So we have that and let's say anti-wall. 
and let's see if it managed to, to work. So this is the standard in painting that comes with the, with the user interface in automatic 11 from a stable diffusion. Okay. And since we'll get only better now from here on. So here you can do basic stuff, but sometimes it doesn't work very well. So we need to move to other tools like in paint anything, which is fantastic. Okay. So this is what we have here. We start to see the results. So again, you can increase you now the number of iteration, all this stuff to get better results. But I think here removing is better to, to use on other options. Also, I was using the only max probably to remove object. It's not the best choice. So it might be better to use whole picture. So in that way you can get a better context and do a better you now merging of the images. So let's see what we get here at the end of the day. Okay. So this is our image. So kind of is trying to remove it's not ideal. So now let me change here, whole picture. Let's see if I can improve for original. So as I mentioned, I recommend you to stay with the original, but also you can play with different auction, max blur, fan, ta, 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 ta. I think this is okay. And uh, let's see what happens now. I only change one entry. Okay. It was here. I went from only mask to whole picture. So now we're in the latent space and it will evolve and then we'll get to this one. So no, nah, it didn't work very well. So these are the things that might happen there. So in this case, so this is the basic in painting. Now let's move to the other step. Okay. The other step in painting, we have control net. Control net is fantastic. And that is, I use automatic 11, 11, just for control net. I'm on all the user interface. I, I think I get much, much better control with automatic 11, 11. So see that this is what was, what it was happening. So maybe it is related. So maybe it's you change to an in painting model. So let's do it and let's see what happens if I change and I use an in painting model, but talking about control net here, we have it in the bottom. Okay, you need to install and we're going to get access to in painting models. So control net has in painting models. And now we're going to use those models that tends to be a little bit advanced and it gives you some other better options specifically to remove objects. So let's wait for, for these results. I also recommend you that to wait until you have results, all your images, do not stop images because sometimes you can have at least when you have eight gigs of memory or, or less, you can give, you can get some, some memory problems and you will, you will need to restart, you know, uh, automatic 11, 11 to solve that problem. So you see here that it didn't, didn't do much. So now we move to control next. So you go here, control net, enable pixel perfect to get the same dimensions. If you have less than eight, you can select that one. I don't need to load and I want to use in paint. I have in paint here and we can select also the model. So we have different models. This is very important. Remember that in paint, you have different libraries. So you can have the XL libraries or the libraries for, for SD 1.5. In this case, I'm going to use in pain, but it's a stable diffusion 1.5. Okay. This is important because I want to show you an error and here we have different models. So in pain only is exactly equivalent to what we just did. So I'm not going to waste time here. Interesting is this one in pain only plus Llama. Llama is a specific model to remove objects. Okay. So if you want to remove objects, use this one. And this one is a model to get you no know, improved results over this standard one. You know? So it, sounds, it is an improvement, especially if you are working with faces and things like that. Okay, but here, user, I just use for this one the llama model to remove. This is what we want to do now, and it works exactly the same. Okay, the in painting you always do it here. You don't do it in Control Net, okay? Because in Control Net you have the option, but don't do it there. Use your in painting here, and now you are using that model. So let's run, and I always mention, look at your output here and see that it's giving an error and basically it's telling you that this model is not compatible. This SD 1.5 is not compatible to the stable diffusion that we're using no SDX. Okay. So always pay attention to these errors and let me go here. 
and see that we are using this in painting model and it's not compatible so you need to use let's use this one the 1.5 okay and if you use an xl also it's not going to it's not going to be compatible so always check your prone there so now we go 1.5 that is compatible with control net 1.5 and let's generate so here see that no error everything is compatible and now we're using the llama model to remove the object and there you go so this is a result and see that very neat okay remove the ear there and you can do in painting and so on so this is how it works with uh with control net okay remember i just use it to remove object because these two options pretty much are similar to the others be careful also with the checkpoints that you are using you need to have you know the whole compatibility between the model here and the model that you put here and then all these options are the same as, as we talked previously so now let's move to the best approach to do in painting okay uh it's not available in focus i don't know if it is available in comfy ui i haven't checked but maybe it's, it is available but it's this one in paint anything it is fantastic okay so as you click here you go with this new tab remember that this is an extension and you need to install here so look for in paint anything and segment anything so let me introduce you to this interface it's pretty much no classical automatic 11 11 interface so here you have models for segmentation there are many models uh each model that you select they are not installed by default so it will download the model so uh my advice is stay with the, the with this one this is the one i use so you have the h stands for huge large and base so this is a very large file a large file and the base one uh this one also same idea hlb it is something different uh of all these models i found that this this is the one that gave me the best result but it's up to you now so you can look for these acronyms by the way in the internet and you will find the theory what is happening for me this is fantastic it does its job remember if you use the model here you have download you need to download and the models are located okay so let me go extensions just to remind you what you have where you have those models here in paint and these specific models you're going to, it's going to put it there and look at that those are big files depending on the model so i would use this model and the idea when you select the model is that now you can okay let me also i need to put the image i have the image here and we're going to work with the same image it's going to do the segmentation okay like what you see here you now it's fantastic so it's going to identify regions and then by just clicking there in a region you just can automatically mask that region and then you have some extra options so let's do the segmentation here so depending on your image also this can be very very time consuming you can use a lot of memory so here i think it will take a while to get the segmentation so while it's getting that segmentation then here you have the other options just to control your in painting so you can control it with the prompt okay you have here your output later we go back cleaner is to remove objects and see that you have the llama model and you have different models again uh tested but the llama is fantastic this one tends to be very expensive but for me llama is okay and when you download when you use one for the first time also it will download the model and it will put it in, in some location uh this in painting wet ui is exactly the same options as the previous approach you know so you have access to exactly the same options you can get access also to control net and if you want to mask only so usually i just focus between this cleaner to remove and in painting to change composition at, at objects using all the basic interface the for for in paint anything so that now okay then also remember that you have in painting models so using this this one here uh in paint you have different models so look at that you have access to some other models so the first time that you use these models it's going to be downloaded okay so these are different from the ones that you have here so if you want to get access to those go to this one and 
you have it there okay but i will stay with this one i think it tends to be a little bit it's pretty much the same model but you have some different models so it's up to you uh these models are installed in a location different from the standard one so let me see let me see if i recall where are those so as you go users cache here and here hogging phase here is going where you're going to install it, it is going to install those models so sometimes when you don't find some files in automatic 11 11 actually because the downloads many a lot of stuff you're going to find all that stuff here okay i don't know if this can be changed this default location but here's where you have those files okay it is you if you don't find in your standard installation there are there so here that's all okay so at this point let's see that for instance now we want to control the masking so let's say let's go back to the year so let me just draw in the year there and then as you click here and create mask automatically it's going to select that and see that how easy it is that then when you are here in the year also for instance uh this option sometimes is very important you increase your mask okay so sometimes remember this concept that you want to add a little a little bit more context so you want to also brush or mask your background so this is what you're doing or you can do more iterations and then it's going to increase that by that dimension okay so let me redo it here go go back then for instance if you want to remove something from this selection so for instance this you can change also your brush here so let me click there trim and you remove that from the selection or you can add something from your select to your selection there so you can modify your mask okay besides from this you can modify okay, so let me now go here and train so this is how it works as you see it's fantastic the, at least this part of the segmentation it does this well this actually does miracles Okay, the painting that is tricky, but this does miracles. Okay, so now that you select the ear and let's say that you want to remove that ear. Okay, this is the cleaner. I will use the llama model. For me, it's fantastic. You have different options, it will be up to you. Wrong cleaner. And now based on that selection, okay, it's going to do the magic that previously it was a little bit tricky. So now, okay, it's not a fantastic result here. So probably, Okay, let me in redo and uh, maybe we need more context here. So this is sometimes you need to increase here. Let me put expand the mask. Okay, so now we have more mask and look at that. See that now the mask is also taking a little bit the background and let's see what happens here. So let's see and look at the improvement. And this is what I was mentioning that sometimes you need to get when you are brushing you need to brush or mask an area larger than that precise region because you need to get context from your image so now what is happening that as it is larger it knows what will be the color or the composition whatever is coming so yeah the larger the better but sometimes you make it too large you can mess around or it will use more resources so here clearly you see the influence of that so very cool result fantastic result and we can do the same here with the eye so let's go back well you can save the image i'm not going to save so let me select now let's say that erase everything and let me brush in the eyes here okay create it will precisely select the eyes then it will be up to you let me zoom in here so remember i have an extension that let, lets me do this by, by default okay it's cool i'm happy with that and what i want to do now is in painting so i want green eyes here you select the model so i'm using the painting with uh in paint anything you have different models personally speaking i think uh the best model is this one okay i get the best result but not not always it depends what you are doing okay and remember each time you change it will download if you don't have it already so i will use this one here iterations this is what i was talking about the batch okay so it will generate for images sequentially it's not in parallel okay so let's run and let's see what happens now if i choose green eyes
And there you go. This is what we have. So it's not fantastic. Okay. So actually it's probably this is okay here. I don't know what it's doing. So it might be something related with the model. So let me change the model and usually also let's generate for images. And now let's see what happens with another model and more images. It might be also an error that this mask, probably I think this mask that we have here probably is too large. So it's also taking some context of the skin around the eye, as the four and so on. So that's why it becomes green. So this might be the case that we need to have something else smaller. But in any case, let's see what we have now. Okay, that we change the model and have it with four images. Okay, so we have here the output for images. Okay, so these two are okay. This one, not so okay. And this one is strange. Okay, so, but see the influence here that changing the model, we get different results. So I hope that you are getting the point how things work. And let's do things a little bit more complex. So let me select here and here. Okay, so we have the eyes and then also the ear. So let's say now that I want, okay, so do not expect miracles. So, and let's say pink hair, I don't know, can be also four. Okay. So let me put both of that. So I want to change also the color. So let's see what happens. This is tricky to do, especially when you have a small details, stuff like this. So let me do it in painting with wrong way. So the eyes, my, my, we might get something okay. Let's see what happens with the ears. Okay, so here we have the output. The eyes kind of, they're okay. The ears, nothing to do. It's trying to do something there, but probably we need to do more generations to get better results. But this is the output. So at this point, I invite you now to, to play with that. Here you have advanced options, so you can also go here and, and play with this. So let's fix a sick number and let me go here and let's use, actually let's use Dream Shaper model. I think I already have it. And bam, 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 did the model. And this is okay, let's see. Okay, in pain, local files. Okay, I have the file, so it's not downloading and it's working. So let's see what happens now that we fix our set number here. Okay, so this is our output, much better. So you see the influence of the model, so it gave. Uh, much better results. The eyes, actually the eyes are quite cool. The hair also is much better. And in this case, for instance, here is where just masking precisely the ear is better than masking a little bit the background. No? Because if you mask the background, it will take some context and it will do that transition. And probably you're going to get some, some of this color gray or whatever it is there. So I'll see that it improved a lot here. So the strong influence of the model, but also the, your seat number and your generation. So at this point, you can use this case and play around just to get more comfortable, get your, your options. So we visit three different methods, okay? This, this way is working, this workflow will be the same now with Focus or Comfy UI if you have access to the same tools. Now this stuff image to image in paint, you mask the region, and then you need to drive everything with the with the prompt, okay? Or you can use, if you want to remove, sometimes you have the option like with control net that you can use the Llama model to remove sense. Okay, so you have in pain of your user interface, control net, and then the best option in pain, anything is strongly recommended. This is the one I, I advise you to use. And you have here more stuff that you can play around. So this is pretty much the same as previously. This will be control net. And here is you want to create mask. Uh, actually, this one, for instance, you want to remove background. This is where you can come and you can select the whole mass and remove and do the, the subtraction. Okay. But there are some other models that are much easier to do, to, to use to do that. Okay. So I think 
this is all you now for this short introduction. Later, we're going to work in these other cases that we did you know, in previous tutorials, or we're going to take those images and do some a little bit more advanced stuff. Okay, so thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.